I think the interesting part of this is it really clarifies what it takes potentially to buy TikTok. This is obviously not a normal deal with the government forcing, in essence, a sale for ByteDance here for the U.S. operations plus a few other countries of TikTok. So I'd look at it, I'd say there's three different qualifications maybe you need. One, you need to be able to secure data in the United States. Oracle can do that with a cloud business of its own. Two, you need to be able to pay for TikTok in cash because a stock deal where ByteDance would own a minority stake in a U.S. tech company probably wouldn't fly here. Oracle, a very big company, well over a $100 billion market cap company, they could afford to do that. And third, you need a relationship with the U.S. government. And as you alluded to, Larry Ellison at TikTok has one. He threw a fundraising event for President Trump earlier this year. Uh, he has close ties to the U.S. government. So could it happen? Sure. Are there a lot of synergies? Probably not. Right, exactly. And Ed, that's where I'll pick up with you. What would happen if Oracle became the new parent of TikTok? I mean, would we expect it to just be kind of a, a quiet, benign you know, presence, or would they would they have some larger plans for it? I mean, it's definitely a head scratcher, right? I think Alex makes the the correct point here that there the political ramifications around making this deal happen or forcing the deal and then making it happen seem to sort of enervate every aspect of it, right? Including the logic, meaning, well, Trump wants it sold, and these guys are friends of Trump, so maybe there there's some connection there. Putting all that aside for a second, if you want to play devil's advocate, you know, Oracle's in the cloud business, right? They're B2B. Uh, this is a consumer-facing business. TikTok, is, there's something that they haven't really done in the past. Arguably, they could make use of that social network, all the data that's gleaned from that. And as Alex points out, they would want to have the data as part of that deal. Use that data to help inform their cloud business, right? And so, it, you know, we can't place, it's really important to understand how data works for a lot of these tech companies, it's not just sort of uh, something that sits in a database somewhere. It actually changes how something works. Mm -hmm. So that's the devil's advocate there. At the same time, the sort of the business logic escapes me. I don't really <laughs> get it. Um, you know, I think a part of it is a little bit, it's a little bit back to the 90s when, you know, Microsoft was king and Oracle, Larry Ellison always sort of saw Microsoft as its chief competitor. And they're seeing Microsoft coming in for this deal potentially. It's like, oh, wait, hold on a second. I could be, I could be uh, the guy to own this. So again, the, the, the I don't see too much business rationale. Uh, there is some argument for the data, but look, TikTok is a money losing business. So even as a sort of a, a partner client to Oracle, it's something that they're going to have to fund for at least a few years before they see any real benefit from it.